Hello fellow simmers and welcome to this tutorial from Flight Sim Productions. Today we're going to be taking a look at error code number 0x007139F. I started up my Microsoft Flight Simulator and gaming services came up so I'm thinking alright simple update and we're wheels up and as always Microsoft does not disappoint me there's got to be something to it every single time there's anything going on. So I do a search on this error code through their forums and they're all feedback stuff and again Microsoft does not disappoint and provides me with absolutely nothing for a solution. So that means one thing and you know what that is. It's time for this flight simmer to take it to the Google and find out what the hell's going on this time. So that's exactly what I did and as always my friend Google didn't let me down. I was able to go through yeah, quite a few different websites before I finally found this solution and I hope it works for you too. Now there is going to be some registry work on here. It's not very difficult but keep in mind that we're not responsible if you goof up your registry so you kind of do this at your own risk. Alright so how do you get to the registry? Well you just click on that little window thing and you just start typing in reg edit and that will bring up your registry. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go into where it says local machine. We're going to go down to where it says system. And then we're going to scroll down here a little ways. Okay, now we're going to go down to where it says current control set. We're going to open up the services folder. And if follow what I'm doing here, you'll see you'll be able to uh easily find what you need. And we just keep scrolling down here until we get to where we need to be. Now there's going to be two folders on here that you're going to want to delete. Again, you're doing this at your own risk. I didn't have any issues, but one of them is called Gaming Services, and the other one is called Gaming Services Net. It's right below Gaming Services. You're simply going to right-click on it. You're going to go to where it says Delete. You don't want to touch anything else just those two gaming and services net you're going to delete everything within the folder itself so if you hit delete yes you want to delete it and go back to gaming services net you're going to delete that as well delete that and then what I did was after I did that I just restarted my computer so it had a fresh start and here's what uh, became of that this popped up automatically because I had uninstalled the Xbox application and it just had a couple things to reinstall and it didn't take very long and usually I have like a play thing over here on the side but for some odd reason it wasn't there I clicked on the Microsoft Flight Premium I clicked install even though it is installed already and basically what it needed was some updates and you'll see that it just does second here I deleted that well not deleted it I just closed it and then uh, this started coming up so I knew I was in pretty good shape I was rather confident that we were going to be wheels up in just a matter of time and uh, that's pretty much true I just had to update these files but the only reason why I had to update them was because it was an update anyway so it wasn't like it needed anything else added and then voila it started up everything looks great I checked to see if some of my well if not some of my all of my airports that I purchased is there was there and they were for sure and also I wanted to make sure that my planes were there and I did that as well if you like what you see don't forget to subscribe. Check us out on Facebook at facebook.com slash Until next time, keep your head in the clouds.